Next up for today is I had a problem with a Digitax decoder. I, in essence, blew it and sent it in for repair, and it just came back. Looks like this. And it goes into this Canadian Pacific whatever the heck it is here. It's backwards. Turn that around. And the way it fits in is like this. So this will just... Okay, has to bend up a little. That'll all fit in there nicely. The problem is this speaker doesn't fit into here. So what I'm going to do is swap it for this speaker. Now, this speaker also comes with a baffle, but I don't know if there's going to be enough room for that. The only place this can go is right here. And you can see there's enough room there right now to put that in place. The only other option would be to put it up in here, but then I'd have to cut out a big hunk, so that's not going to happen. Hmm. We'll attach to these two wires. The other problem I have is this capacitor. There's really no place to put it. Just thinking if I put this all the way under like that, which I could do, then I suppose the capacitor could go there. And then these here have to be soldered on to the board here and here. So that they can make contact with the motor here. And when you do that, you need to put some capped on tape across there and down the side a little bit to make sure that you don't contact this frame. So let's grab a little piece of capped on tape here. Just burnishing it on here. And down the side. And then if you look underneath here, you'll see that wherever else this comes in contact, uh, it's all got stuff under it. So. So the next thing is to solder these guys on. It's a setup I had used before. There are, this is uh, two paint sticks. And what I can do is put this on like this. Put this against, well, basically where I want it to go slide it in. That helps to hold it. Before I do that, I need to go ahead and here, 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 and these four points, put a little bit of solder on. I'm going to put a little solder on. I need a little tiny bit of flux. I just want to tin these guys so everything will stick well. A little flux there, there, and on these guys as well. Now 
Now if you look at the instructions, they will, here's the block I have just to put stuff on while I'm soldering it. The instructions don't tell you. Just cleaning my soldering iron. Don't tell you to put the solder on the tips here, but this gives a better contact. here is to spread the solder around, don't melt any components. And these have already been tinned from the last time I applied it when I had the problem. So that goes in there like that, that's going to go there like that, that's all fine. Except of course I can't hold that with my fingers because if I do, it'll burn pretty quick. So. Here's my uh, burn proof mechanism. There, if you can't see that, it looks like that. I just hold it with my hand. My other hand holds this. down, hold it in place, and that's now firmly there. And now we do the other side, same thing. down with the soldering iron while applying heat. And hold your breath away. Okay, now let's see if that fits on okay. We'll grab our frame here. And Insert the front. A little harder to insert now. The rest will come down. Make sure that you come over that little motor piece there. Okay, it's a little looser than I'd like it. So I'm just going to bend this one contact in a bit. Getting better, but not quite. Yeah, because they're sprung, that should be good enough. We're going to find out anyway. Remember when we put this down, slides forward. Over that goes like that, and the whole thing slides forward like that. Okay, now we're going to take this over to the layout and make sure it's all working okay. 
Okay, there it is. I'm going to turn track power on. See there's a light. And we'll go forward light. Reverse light. See we got sound. We got movement. Okay, there's a reverse with movement. There's a front with movement. Bell. Whistle. Horn, whatever. Crossing horn. Here's the motor gearing up. Okay, so it runs fine. Turn the power off. Well, I've been trying to figure out the best way of fitting everything. And at this point, the one concern I have is while this will fit under here, it touches some components underneath this board and I suppose I'm just gonna have to live with that uh, but it wouldn't be my first, my favorite. Anyway what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that in there like that I'll put a little bit of really thin double-sided tape to hold the speaker down then I'm gonna use this capacitor which is smaller put it on here and uh, I'll have to wire it into here because these wires aren't long enough, nor are those wires. And uh, I'll snip these wires off and just solder them into there. That'll be easy enough. I'm going to cover the back of this with capped on tape. And I'm going to cover the top of this with capped on tape so it's double layered. And I'm not worried about here the bottom because this is all plastic around here anyway. So. That's what I'm going to do for my install. And there's a close-up around a battery, so I had to take this guy out. So you can see there kind of what I'm doing. The extra capped on tape on the bottom there, and then the double-sided tape on there. That will just go down there. And there's just that's just tacky enough to hold it. I'll leave these two guys out so I can solder to them. That should work well. So we'll just snip them off here. I shouldn't have to use any more soldering iron. Put this guy down. Press and pull. Same thing here. Press and pull. Clean the soldering iron back in. Press and pull again. Clean with my thumb. Nail. Same thing with the red one here. Okay, now I'm going to want to solder these guys. I'm going to twist them together. Yeah, the fluxing first probably didn't help at all. Okay, then I have some solder. Yeah, solder those two together. Integrity. Those have now been soldered together. 
And what I'm going to do is there's a little too much wire that's to get with there. I'm going to clip a little off of there. Clip a little off of there. Make sure I still have everything soldered in place. Now, let's just see how this is going to work. That goes there. That's going to just go back to there. That'll fit well. These Now, the next thing is I'm going to have to do these wires because remember they're just going to go all there I need. If I screw up, I don't know if that's enough or not, but we're going to find out. Okay, bear the ends. Again, that was just the old press and with the soldering iron and pull. Okay, that's that done. Last thing to do is I'm going to put them on here, so I'm going and then a little bit of solder. Yeah, that's got that one in. Now I'm gonna go to this side. Okay, so that's got I'll uh, just bend these guys down. Okay, we've got a bit of a problem here. You can hear a bit of noise. I'm going to try the, the whistle. See it sorted out. Starts up again. Uh, light works fine. Both directions. Bell. You can hear. I go to whistle. See it? There's a short in there with the whistle. It's like it's too much current draw or something. Okay, so we're back. You can see I've now taken the speaker and moved it out. Hmm. Vibrating little thing from under here. And now when I do bell, bell works. When I do horn, Turned it off. Horn. So, what that means is I can't have this speaker underneath there. And that destroys my whole concept. I can't have the speaker. What that means is I can't have that speaker underneath there. Yeah, well, I moved it around. It doesn't like that. Uh, and so that destroys my whole idea of where I'm going to put the speaker. 
So I need to completely rethink things now.